Hi friends, I'm Katie Brinkley and you're listening to a Rocky Mountain Marketing Quick Cast. These bite-sized episodes are released every Thursday and are going to give you the latest news and tips in the world of social media that are happening right now. Let's dive in to today's Quick Cast episode. Welcome to this week's Rocky Mountain Marketing Quick Cast. I'm Katie Brinkley, and today we are going to dive into the pros and cons of having a verified social media account and whether or not it's really worth investing in. So what does it mean to have a verified social media account? And really, it's as simple as having that little blue check mark next to your social media account. So before we even get started, let's define what a verified social media account is. A verified account on social media means that it's been confirmed as authentic by the platform itself. It's usually, like I said before, means that it has that blue check mark or another symbol next to the account name. And having a verified account is a bit of a status symbol that really can convey your businesses or your personal brand's credibility and authenticity to your audience. Now, why am I talking about this today? I mean, we've been seeing verified accounts out there on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook for a while now. However, the reason I wanna bring this up is because about four-ish, five-ish months ago, Elon Musk, allowed people to purchase that blue check mark over on Twitter. Yours truly, I signed up for it because I use Twitter. I wanted to have that increased security. I wanted to see less ads and I wanted people to know that, hey, this is in fact Katie Brinkley. I've recently, and I don't know if it's because of my online event that I had, Social Profit Lab. I don't know if it's because of that, but there's been a lot of fake accounts (laughs) out there that have been uh, trying to sell crypto to my audiences and sending people friend requests and stuff. They're like, hey, I thought we already were friends. So having that blue check mark for me made sense. It was, I think, $4.99 a month when I signed up. Well, at the beginning of the year, Mr. Musk, Elon, he raised the price to $12.99 a month for that little check mark. And $5 a month I was willing to invest in, $13 a month, I was like, meh, I don't know if it's really worth it for me. So I did not decide to continue my verification, my little blue check mark over on Twitter. Well, just earlier this week, Mark Zuckerberg has hopped on the paid verification bandwagon. Uh, So before getting verified on Facebook and Instagram, it used to be free. And now guess what it's going to cost? going to cost around $12 a month. Looks really similar to what Elon's doing over on Twitter. And Mark Zuckerberg actually said over uh, last weekend, so depending on when you're listening to this, mid-February of 2023, that he's launching this paid subscription service called Meta Verified. And it looks pretty darn similar to what Elon launched over on Twitter. So Facebook is starting to charge people this $12 a month that's rolling out in Australia and New Zealand as early as uh, next week. So end of February uh, for people that live, you know, down under. So why are they doing this? And things have been hard over at Facebook with TikTok, uh, with, you know, the, the ads, iOS ad limiting campaigns. It's been hard and stock has, has gone down. So Maybe Zuck wants to make some more money. And I mean, if you think about it, we're all pretty pretty heavily invested in social media now. We use it for business. We use it for connecting with family and friends. So really, why now that we're invested in it, if you want to pay for it, why not see if people would be willing to pay for it? So it, before, it used to be mostly just public figures, um, the president, uh, journalists, And you would get that verified mark so that people knew that the information was coming from a reliable source. But now it's going to be available to anybody. And if you're willing to pay $12 a month uh, on the web version, it will be 12 bucks a month on web and 
$15 a month if you want to use it on the iPhone. Again, kind of probably giving a little bit of a shove to, to Apple there, uh, Zuck is doing. So you, anyone can have it. So why would you want to have a verified account? What are the advantages? So the, some of the pros of having a verified social media account is the increased credibility. Your, when your account is verified, it tells your audience that you're a legitimate business or individual. And this can be important to, for your business if you operate in a competitive industry that relies on trust. So if, again, for me, I'm having a lot of people imitate me over on social media. It sure would be nice for them to know that I'm not trying to sell them crypto. Um, it also it could be beneficial if you work in the finance industry or if you're in the healthcare industry. Another benefit of having a verified account is the access to special features. Apparently, if you have a, a verified account on Facebook, you are going to have increased security. On Twitter, you get shown fewer ads, fewer sponsored content. So that could be a benefit of having a verified account. Finally, I, you know, you, I preach about this all the time. It can potentially lead to more followers. If people see that check mark next to your name, they're going to say, oh, this is a legitimate person. I'm going to follow them. And when you have that check mark next to your name, typically you're perceived as more trustworthy or more authoritative. So it could make you more attractive to new followers. But I say that one kind of in passing because it's not always just about how many followers you have. It is about cre you know creating a community around your business. So keep that in mind. Now, what are the cons of having a verified social media account? Well, do you want to pay for it? Do you want to pay for that little check mark? I mean, it's going to cost on Facebook, you know, around $180 a year just for a little check mark next to your name, but it does give you more security. And same with over on Twitter. If you want to have that check mark next to your name, is it worth it to see fewer ads in your feed? I think that when it comes down to it, having that verified account does give you a little bit more authority. You do have to maintain a certain image. You have to maintain a certain level of uh, professionalism when you have that check mark next to your name. I think that it's all going to come down to whether or not it makes sense for your business. Having a verified social media account can have its advantages and it can have its disadvantages. And while it can increase your credibility and it can give you access to special features, more security, potentially more followers, it can also cost maybe an additional spend from your business that you might not necessarily feel is necessary. Um, and it can also put a little bit more pressure on you to make sure that you're giving out a certain image for your business and brand at all times. And whether or not it's worth it for you to pay for that verification, it's up to each individual and each business owner to make that decision. I feel like from Mark Zuckerberg rolling this out, it's just a matter of time before we are having to move to a subscription model for our social media accounts. Should you invest now? It comes down to you and your business and really relying on how much that little blue check mark next to your name really matters. But that's the latest and greatest in the world of social media this week. Thank you so much for joining me on another quick cast episode. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast. Leave us a review if you have any feedback. Reach out to me on social media. If you have anything that you'd like me to cover or talk about, send me a DM. I'd love to hear from you. And I always enjoy connecting with each and every one of you listeners. You can find me on LinkedIn or I'm over on Instagram be sure to connect with me over there. And if you haven't downloaded my 31 content ideas, it's 100% free. Be sure to go to katiebrinkley.com slash content dash calendar to get those 31 content days so that you're never left spinning the wheels on what you should be posting about on social media this week.